Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Canon Mind Fitness Online Training. This is your coach, Pablo. Welcome to S3, your stretch, strength, and sweat workout. Let's get into your guided flow. Here we go, team. Go ahead and reach for the ceiling. Exhale. Get nice and tall. Reach to the left. Reach to the right. Grab that right elbow, right foot over left foot. Lean to the left. Exhale. Find your balance. And back to center with your torso. Then go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, touch the toes with your feet still crossed. Then go ahead and inhale the way up. Reach for the ceiling. You're gonna go ahead and separate your feet. Go left foot over right. Grab your left elbow, lean to your right. Exhale, find your balance and return your torso to center. And go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, exhale, touch your toes. And go ahead and inhale back up. One vertebra at a time, reach nice and tall, wide stance. Then go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, exhale. Walk it out into a perfect plank position. Hold, keep that core nice and tight. Half plank and cobra. Exhale, get nice and tall. Press those shoulders into the ground, press those hands into the ground. Press your head into the ceiling, reach, get nice and tall, release your hips and low back. And release down to the ground. You're gonna go ahead and rotate. Press away, get a nice chest and shoulder stretch. And then rotate to the other side. Hand out by your side, press away as much as you can, press, press, press. Exhale, beautiful. Return to center, back into Cobra. Press up, exhale. Sit back, butt to heels. Back into Cobra, press up, exhale. Tuck the toes, down dog, press away. Back to plank. Keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze the glutes. You should be so tight that someone could sit on you and you are not going anywhere. Back to half plank and cobra. Exhale. Reach. Down to the ground. Open up again. Press away. Exhale as you press away. Rotate to the other side. Press away. Exhale. Hands back to center. Press up. Exhale. Tuck the toes down dog. Press away. Beautiful. Back to plank. Half plank. Cobra. Beautiful. And go ahead and sit back. Butt to heels. Come on up. Five cat cow twist. After your five cat cow twist, right hand underneath the left, shoulder touches the ground, sit back and pull away from the stretch. Feel that stretch come across that upper back, upper shoulder region, and then come on up, reach and rotate three times for me. Reach and rotate. Reach and rotate. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side, left hand through. Think about sitting back and away from the stretch, getting your shoulder to touch the ground. Beautiful. Come on up. Reach and rotate. Three times. Beautiful. Hands back to center. You're going to go ahead and do five scab push-ups. So, chest through the shoulder, shoulder blades try to touch behind you, and then press up. Just through the shoulders, right? So before, in the cat-cow twist, we were working on the spine. Now, we're working on the shoulder blades, 
making sure making sure that those are primed and ready to go. Beautiful. Down dog. Press away. Left foot up. Left foot to left hand. Chest up. You're gonna squeeze the glutes. Engage at the hips. Reach for the ceiling. Send those hips forward. Exhale. Reach to the left. And then go ahead, hands back to center. Sit back. Get a nice stretch along the hamstring. Beautiful. We're going to do that three times. Again, back to center. Reach. Just keep the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Reach to the ceiling. Reach to the left. Nice. Hands back to center. Toes up and sit back into your hamstring stretch. One more time. We're gonna put that foot back down, chest up, reach for the ceiling, exhale, send the hips forward. As you maintain that butt squeeze, you'll feel that stretch on the hip flexors, then reach to the left. Beautiful. Back to center, hands back to the middle on the ground, move your foot forward, toe up, sit back, squeeze your quad, That'll get the hamstring stretch going. And then release. Go ahead and kick it back into down dog. We're going to go to the right side. Right foot up. Right foot to right hand. Step up, chest up. In this lunge position. Squeeze the glutes, engage at the hips. Reach for the ceiling, exhale. And then reach for the right. Beautiful. Hands back to center. Go ahead and sit back, toes up, squeeze that quad for your hamstring stretch. Again, we're doing that three times. Back to tall, squeeze the glutes, engage, press them forward, reach for the ceiling, exhale. And again, hands back to the middle, sit back, toes up, get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. We're gonna do that one more time. Beautiful, chest up, engage everything. Squeeze, reach for the ceiling, send the hips forward. Reach to the right, nice. Back to center with the torso, hands back to the floor, back to the middle, move that right foot forward a little bit. Toe up, squeeze that quad, feel that hamstring stretch going. Beautiful, sit back, nice. Go ahead back to center, go ahead and kick it back into down dog. Feet back to the middle of the down dog and then walk it up. Inhale, way up. Reach for the ceiling oh, and exhale. Nice job, team. Now you're ready to go for the next piece. Let's go. Here we go into your strength work for the day. Every two minutes for five rounds, you're going to perform 15 to 20 deadlifts. This is gonna be at a relatively light weight, around your 50%. Making sure that form is good, back is flat, core is tight, hips go back, bar stays close to the body the entire time. And then you're gonna transition into 20 mountain climbers, just like shown here. Back and forth is gonna equal one, so left, right, one, left, right, two, so on and so forth. Here we go, a little side view. Again, every two minutes performing these two movements. If you have any extra time, rest. Then for your sweat, you're gonna do 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off for six rounds of jumping lunges shown here. After your six rounds, you are going to rest one minute and then go into the same 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off for six rounds. But this time, it's going to be of jumping a rope or jumping jacks, your choice. So here we go, showing you some jumping jacks. And then we're going to transition here into single unders, just your normal jump rope, or you have your more advanced double under. Now, this is a workout that you would want to pick the movement that you are proficient at because we were working on speed and accumulating repetition work in the jump rope or the jumping jack. Here you see the double under the two rotations per jump. Then you're gonna rest a minute after you perform these six rounds of 30 on, 10 off. Your last six rounds is gonna consist of shoulder, 
to overhead. Now I'm going to show you it here with a barbell. You can do this dumbbell, kettlebell, sandbag, water jugs, backpack, anything you can press overhead. So you have the strict press, push press, and push jerk shown in progression here. So again, here we have the strict press. No movement from the lower body, just all upper body. Then you have your push press, single dip. Dipping with the knees, then drive. Then you have the push jerk. Dipping, driving, and dipping again to lock it out. These are your choices. Have fun. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for following along with us. We appreciate your time. We hope you enjoyed the workout. We hope that you let us know your score, if you liked it, how you liked it, and how we can improve for next time. Our goal is to keep you healthy at all times and keep improving alongside you. So please let us know how you like it. Post your scores on social media. Tell your friends about it. Health is incredibly important, especially in this time. So let's all get healthy together and keep each other accountable. See you in the next workout.